Good morning, this is May Valensky with Driving Markets. Hope you're all well and welcome to all the new listeners that have joined since last week. Um, let's see what is driving markets today. Okay, so on Friday the markets came off sharply, which uh, as I said was expected. <clears throat> you could see further falls. You probably, in my opinion, will see much bigger falls, but that doesn't mean that's going to be one straight line down. So just be aware of that, that uh, when the markets move, they also move up. So there'll be those days where the market will bounce. However, in my opinion, you should be selling into the bounce and looking to go short of the market for definitely the near future. Near future is the next two to three weeks. Um, you should just stay short and any bounce, look to take the opportunity to get in there and sell the market. Um, as I've said, since September, October, I've been driving the message home and uh, hopefully some of you have listened, uh, maybe you haven't, I'm not too sure, uh, but inflation is there. You've got core inflation, you've got, sorry, you've got headline inflation running at about 5.8 to 6.3% in the UK, in the US it's running at 7%. However, you've got underlying inflation, which you keep stating over and over again, is running at around about 12 to 15 percent, simply because those prices have not yet fed through to the retail sector or the wholesale sector, and the, either the wholesalers or the manufacturers are trying to absorb that level of increase in order not to frighten off the retail market. However, underlying inflation is burning at about 15 to 12 to 15 percent which will mean that interest rates at three or four rises by the fed or the uk is not going to do the job in order for this to happen you're going to have to have a dramatic increase in interest rates because inflation is going to run away and the only, the only, the only weapon the governments or the central banks have is to raise interest rates once you raise interest rates then you're going to have a situation whereby more and more investors more and more traders are going to remove any of their risky or speculative assets and go into defensive stocks or into actual cash in the bank that will pay an interest rate in my opinion by the end of 2022 you're going to have interest rates in the states at three percent and in the uk you're probably going to have them at two and a half percent uh, that's my opinion most people are against that again most people have been against the fact that i said markets are going to come off remember there is a huge amount of money there sitting in the hedge funds and the institutions and they could easily come into the market and buy stocks at a low level however i believe the trend is downwards and i think the institutions and the hedge funds will be selling the market short um, i can see the nasdaq falling all the way back down to 10 below 10 thousand I can see the Dow at 17, 18,000 this year, and I see the S&P S &P at around about uh, 1,800 to 2,000. Extreme numbers. Uh, people have called me a complete and utter maverick, and I get it because I'm going against all of the common views and the common theories and the understanding of where the market's at and what's feeding the market in terms of underlying liquidity. But that's my view, and I think we're in for a major, major correction more like a crash but let's be diplomatic it's called a correction other thing to look at a couple of things uh, bond prices didn't really move on friday um which is unusual i thought the yields would actually continue rising but the 10-year u.s treasury was running at 1.74 percent i do expect the u.s the 10-year u.s treasury which is the benchmark of bonds to rise to the yield to rise to about 1.95 percent within the next uh, two months, three months. So that will significantly push down the price of the bonds. And as a result, it'll be, make the bonds a lot more attractive. Um, higher yield means those people get a better return on their money. Um, I also want to recap on what I said last week, which you've got European countries like Italy, Spain, Greece, issuing some major government debt 30 to 50 billion is just what Italy's going to issue and their pricing has got to be in line with where interest rates are going to be in the next uh, year, two years in order to attract buyers into those bonds. Um, what else we've got? We've got Intel is investing 20 billion, billion dollars in, I believe it's on, in Ohio, I 
can't remember actually, I can't recall, I think it's Ohio, where they're going to build a semiconductor chip factory to bring the control of semiconductors back into the States. If you remember from my previous YouTubes, I've mentioned that there's a major shortage in the world that people seem to be ignoring on semiconductor chips. In fact, it's so, so crisis level that you've got six to seven years before you'll get semiconductors back to the level where they're at. And semiconductor chips are in every item that you use, your smartphones, your washing machines, dryers, microwaves, ovens, cars, uh, military, aircrafts, you've got everything runs on semiconductor chips. When there's a shortage, when that will reduce the supply or break in the production of the cars and um, anything else that you need, whether it's the washing machine or dryers, and there's a shortage of semiconductor chips, therefore the manufacturers cannot maintain production because they don't have enough chips to put into their particular product, which is causing a supply issue. But um, Intel is investing $20 billion to bring that semiconductor control and manufacture back into the US to make it a more smooth operation. Up until now, it's been run by Taiwan and China. So we are at the mercy of Taiwan and the mercy of China. Um, how we got into this situation, I've got no idea. Uh, Joe Biden, if he's awake or not awake, uh, sleepy Joe. Um, I don't know if he actually knows that he's, prime, uh, that he's president. Maybe should uh, someone should notify him. But really, as I said, uh, the whole thing has been a complete mess. Um, Joe Biden and his ridiculous policies and unawareness of what's going on in the world. Um, I believe his government is run by um, Obama and uh, Camilla Harris and the usual team that hasn't actually left the White House. They're probably stuck in some downstairs office. That's my background. That's my little political uh, attack on Joe Biden today. Um, nothing else to report. What I expect going forward? I expect markets to come off again going forward there will be those days that will bounce and um, if you need any um, information then you can contact me on either comment on this YouTube you could subscribe if you haven't subscribed please search May Valencia on YouTube please press the like buttons <clears throat> again I keep pushing for likes but I don't get many likes so either I'm hated out there or you're just too lazy to push the like button um, you contact me on WhatsApp on LinkedIn um, Instagram at Valensky Mayor um, this is Mayor Valensky with Driving Markets. Have a good weekend.